<clears throat> All right, are we recording? Yeah. Are we recording? Hi, welcome to our Oils on a Budget class. Uh, we are super excited to be giving this class today um, and talk about this amazing topic. My name is Heather Ambrose. I am a gold leader in Young Living. I got started using oils uh, about just over six years ago. I was a teacher. I found myself constantly getting sick from being in the classroom around all those germs. And I was looking for a way to take care of my body that I knew wasn't going to harm my body later. And I wanted a way to do it on a budget because I was a teacher. And I found that Young Living was a great fit for many reasons. Um, and I can't wait to share with you how I was able to use these Young Living products and totally turn my health around on a budget, on a teacher's salary. You know, um, we both know they don't make very much, although they don't make very much money. Um, and it was really awesome. I was just so excited about these products. I started sharing with my friends. And one of the ways I was able to afford my products, if I'm being totally honest, was to share them. Mm -hmm. And that really helped pay for a lot of it. Um, not to mention other tips and tricks that we're going to mention in this class. So from sharing this with my friends, not only did I um, make pay for my product, but I was also able to even support myself better. And I got to meet amazing people like Kylie and Jasmine. And so we just all kind of kept sharing together over the years because it's fun to do and we like it. So um, here is Jasmine. Hi guys, my name is Jasmine Locke and I am also a gold leader with Young Living. Um, I've been with Young Living as a member for about six years, so a little bit less than Heather. Um, I originally got started because I needed support for my daughter um, who was having chronic ear infections even though she had tubes placed in her ears. And so we started using essential oils with great success. And um, being a stay-at-home mom, living off of one income, um, we also needed to figure out oils on a budget because it wasn't in our budget prior to and we had a very small um, income at the time. Um, then I, because I wanted to continue to get more product, I started sharing more. And um, as I shared more, I noticed that more of my product was getting paid for. Um, and then I committed to Young Living as a business. And in the midst of that, I went through a divorce. And because I had stayed loyal and faithful to sharing, um, the income that I started earning with Young Living kept me afloat during a time of transition um, from being um, like basically unemployed to now being a teacher also again. Um, and so now I live off of my Young Living salary and my teaching salary, which is still a budget on an income for a family of four. And so I'm very excited to share with you um, some of our budget tips on essential oils and Young Living products. And this is my great friend, Kylie. She's going to share with you also. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Kylie Carey. I am a silver leader with Young Living. Um, I was introduced to the oils about six years ago. And at that time of my life, we were living paycheck to paycheck. And I knew that these oils would be exactly what our little family needed. Um, I just had a baby and, you know, postpartum. Um, I wanted to make sure that um, I was raising a healthy baby. Um, and staying away from, you know, like over the counters and, you know, stuff that can, um, contained like toxins and chemicals. Um, so I was just trying to be really mindful and intentional about the things that we would bring into our home. Um, and so we were living paycheck to paycheck. And so just trying to figure out like, how am I going to make this work? This is what I want our life to look like. Um, and so, you know, like Jasmine and Heather shared, you know, I just started sharing with people um, stories about how these oils and Young Living supplements were impacting our lives and really just giving us the wellness, purpose, and abundance that we needed. Um, and, you know, fast forward six years, um, you know, being able to share with hundreds of people, um, you know, not just on my own, but with my team, um, Having this income, you know, coming in every month, um, if you aren't familiar with res residual income, you should really look it up. Um, it's such a blessing, um, you know, 
similar to Jasmine, I have gone through a divorce as well. And so now being a single mom, trying to figure out what does this look like providing for my family and moving forward. So um, we found a lot of hacks and, you know, tips um, to be able to share with you guys how we make it work for us. Um, and if you are somebody who wants to incorporate um, clean products into your home, then these tips can work for you too. All right, so welcome to this class. Welcome to Oils on a Budget. And again, we just want to thank you for spending your valuable time with us. So learning how you can make the switch to essential oils and oil infused products without breaking the bank. Um, essential oils are so versatile and they serve many different purposes, allowing you to replace many of the harmful products in your home with much safer alternatives. Because Young Living Oils are pure and potent, you will find that one drop goes a long way, meaning in some cases, you are saving lots of pennies in the process. Throughout this class, you will learn about different oils costing under $20 and ways to use them. Get tips for stretching your products to make them last longer and see how some items you purchase can serve more than just one purpose. So in the comments on the Facebook group, I would love for you to introduce yourself and share with us one or two products that you now use if you're a Young Living member um, that you would, or actually, sorry, just any one or two products you use in your everyday life that you would like to replace with something better. So like for me, my biggest first thing I wanted to switch out was my household cleaner. And I wanted something for my seasonal allergies. Those were like my big two that I wanted something else for. All right, so seed to seal. There is one thing that you can be sure of. Oh, I need to present the thingy. So this is just a nice visual for you so you can see what we're talking about. This is a nice little PowerPoint that Kylie put together. <laughs> to seal. This is one thing that you can be sure of. Young Living spares no expense in ensuring you are getting the best oils on the planet. Let me talk about Young Living's quality standards for those of you who don't know about them. Young Living has a seed to seal guarantee and promise. The company abides by very strict guidelines to fulfill its promise to us. Young Living has its own farms, which no other major company does. It has partner farms that have to abide by the same standards. Young Living won't plant on soil that has been in contact with any chemicals in the last 50 years. Organic standards requ only require that soil be chemical free for five years. So when people ask, yeah, five it years. Used three, it used to be three. It used to be three and, and they can be right next to a field that uses pesticides when the wind blows. You know what I'm saying? This happens. But yeah, so when people ask, are your oils organic? Like that's just... A great thing to know, you know? They're better than organic. Better than organic. Okay. Young Living picks the absolute best seeds from strong, thriving plants. Young Living hand weeds and uses its own oils on plants for best control to avoid harmful chemicals. Young Living harvests at peak times. Young Living distills on site without chemicals. And Young Living tests every batch multiple times throughout the process with the state-of-the-art equipment. All these factors make a huge difference in quality and effectiveness. If a batch doesn't meet Young Living standards for any reason, it doesn't get bottled up to distribute. Young Living would rather have something go out of stock, which has happened, than let an inferior product slip through to us. Valor, the great battle of shortage of 2015. It's rare to find a company with such high standards. And I think that a lot of it is because of Gary Young. He was our founder and just about what he knew about plans was just crazy. And those really high standards, you know, have been passed on. And like we said, we remember times when we've had products out of stock for a really long time, but it's because they refused to distribute any for your product. So, yeah. All right. Seed to seal. Safety and usage. Here we go. Uh, safety first. When using pure oils pure essential oils, be sure to dilute with a carrier oil. A carrier oil is basically like a fattier oil. So like any really fatty oil, like jojoba oil, 
fractionated coconut oil and Young Living actually has a really nice carrier oil. It's called V6. It's like a mixture of all the oils and it's like a really, um, it helps like things absorb better into your skin. It helps like spread it around in case it's like, like if it's like a hot oil, like a cinnamon or a peppermint, if you mix it with a carrier oil first and then put it on, it won't be as harsh on your skin and stuff like that. Um, also it helps like a larger area to spread it around more. Uh, step number two is do not put them in your eyes or ears. Okay. No, you know, pink, parts. no pink parts. And, <laughs> um, you have little pink things on like, the corners of your eyes. These are your tear ducts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and yeah. So number three, she's a science teacher, by the way, if you couldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Follow the directions on the labels. A lot of it is just common sense. You know what I mean with most things? Like, follow the directions. Don't stick an oil in your eye. Like, you'll be good. Don't put it in your ear. Okay. Heavily delivered. Yes. All right. So, that's another class. The three ways to use oils, their solid color labels have aromatic and topical directions on them. The labels are white and um, are from the, the ones that are white are from the vitality line and they have dietary instruction on the labels. Okay, so like, yeah, white labels are vitality. You can ingest those. The color labels are non-vitality and those are more like topical aromatic. So for topically, you can put oils on topically, that means you rub them on your skin. Okay, so, and you can dilute, like we talked about with a carrier oil, like B6 from Young Living, coconut or grapeseed oil apply to your skin. They are quickly absorbed and effective. You don't have to use a carrier oil. That's just if it's like too hot for your skin. Um, so for example, I have something on my skin, right? I put lavender on it. It makes it feel better. That is like what you do for topical. Mm -hmm. Aromatic is like you can use a diffuser, you can even use diffuser jewelry, or put it on your hands and just cut your hands and breathe like this. That's really great if you want like emotional benefits or you want uh, to support your respiratory system, that is a really good way to do that. And uh, internally, the vitality line um, is when you can, that's when you can ingest oils, you can drink them in water, you put them in empty little vegetable capsules and some people notice okay you have lavender vitality which has the white label and you have lavender you know should I only ingest lavender vitality truth be told the lavender vitality and the topical aromatic lavender are the same exact oil it's just different labels it's the same oil it's just because the FDA won't let us label something topical aromatic and dietary it's the same thing does that make sense mm -hmm. so we don't put anything in our oils other than the oil you can be rest assured of that mm -hmm. okay so before we dive in in the comments uh, on the event i want to share your best money saving tips like how do you like to save money what are some things that you have found helpful resume share i believe sharing is paused i've never seen that before it's happened to me one time before in the last class. And that just means that it's not sharing? Like, sharing is paused. Wait. Let's do stop share. And now let's reshare and see if that helps. Share screen. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. Good to know. Cool. So, next slide. So, one of the things we hear a lot are oils are too expensive. How many times have you heard someone say this? Or not just oils, healthy living is expensive. Oh, it's so much cheaper just to buy fast food or buying healthy is so expensive, right? Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, let's be real for a minute. Rose essential oil could be considered expensive at almost $2 a drop, that's rose, okay? But if you are just using one drop a day, and it was working with your body to regulate and balance hormone production, promote healthy skin, and aid, smells really good, and the body's natural <laughs> detoxification processes, spice things up in the bedroom, boost feelings of confidence and self-esteem, along with other countless benefits, 
that I can't specifically mention, but you can research for yourself. Would you still consider it to be too expensive? Incorporating essential oils and oil-infused products into your daily routine is all about making better choices. We will spend our money on the things that we feel are valuable regardless of cost. How much value do you put on feeling and looking amazing? I challenge you to take a good hard look at what you may be spending $2 on every day. Every choice you make when it comes to your wellness is either fighting disease or contributing to it. That being said, Donuts fight <laughs> disease. Just Sorry. Donuts just totally fight disease. There's yeah. oil for it. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> that being said, you could start to support your wellness and fight disease for way less than $2 a day. What if I told you it could be done for just pennies? Young Living has over 50 oils that cost under $20 per bottle. Remember what I told you earlier, approximately how many drops of oil were in a bottle? Get ready to do some math. By the way, if you don't know how many drops of oil are in a bottle, these ones have anywhere like what, 180, 190 drops? These are the five milliliters? No, those have 70, like 70. 75? Oh, oh no. just kidding. Okay, but the big ones, the 15 mils, those have um, like, 250 to like 250 to 300, yeah. So 75 drops, if it's a thicker oil, it's going to have a little bit less. And then the big ones, the 15 mils, we have an example of one of those right here. 300 and um, 100 to 5. Uh, we don't have a 15 mil. But, but it's they're like bigger. There's like 250 to 300 drops in there, depending on like, like thickness and all that kind of stuff. So viscosity. So share with us your favorite oil in the comments on the event, bonus points if you do the math and figure out cost per drop. There's actually a ton of cool graphics if you look up on social media, like if you even just Google Young Living cost per drop, you'll be able to see there's like some really eye-opening things, like mm -hmm. some more like 10 cents per drop. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's super cool. Um, just real fast about Rose. Um, one of the things I've noticed about Rose is that Rose is definitely one of the more expensive oils that Young Living has. It's like $185 a bottle. Um, but literally, one drop is too much. Um, yes, when I, yeah. when I put one drop in the diffuser, and I can refill my diffuser without adding any more oils three more times. I'm you not. Like, yeah. I could not believe how long that oil lasted in the Rose before, even though the water was gone. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, Melissa Pepping, who is a Royal Crown Diamond with Young Living, she uses rose in some of her perfume recipes. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I have rose. And I was really hesitant to use it in some of her recipes because it's very expensive. But she literally uses like two drops and it is so powerful. It's like all you smell. Uh -huh. And so while it's a hefty price tag, you're literally using one drop. Mm -hmm. And that's sufficient. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, and before I pass it off to Jasmine, I want to tell one story to finish how using oils has saved me so much money. So when I first started teaching, I was getting, I would get a cold and then it would turn into a sinus infection. It was a pattern for me and it happened regularly. I'd go to urgent care. I'd pay 50 bucks. They'd give me antibiotics. I'd buy the antibiotics. I would take a day off work to get over it. You know what I mean? So I started using Young Living and a bottle of Thieves, not Thieves Vitality, but the big bottle of Thieves is about 30 bucks. Okay. I would support my immune system beforehand with the Thieves. If I ever did get something, I used the Thieves. I didn't get sinus infections after I started using Thieves. I went through a couple bottles a year of like maybe $30 bottles of thieves, but it was way less than the hundreds of dollars I spent going to urgent care or going to the doctor and getting my antibiotics and all the six days. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's just an example of how and that it's doesn't even, that doesn't even account for all the money you're going to pay for afterwards trying to bring your body back into yep. balance after being on antibiotics. I exactly. A recent article that, that, the research that this article was talking about shows that it takes your body about a year to recover from one round of antibiotics. Wow. And so for me, like I, up until last year, 
like I'll be honest, like sinus infections were the one thing I could, I think you were the one who told me about interdependence. Yep. I've never been able to fight off a sinus infection with oils my entire life. So it was guaranteed two times a year I would be on antibiotics because I couldn't fight it. And so that meant that for the last 13 years, because since I've been in the class for the last 13 years, my body has never been able to recover from antibiotics because I've always, every six months, I put antibiotics into my body. Mm -hmm. And then Heather was telling me what she did. And so I started doing the same thing, which was basically an inner defense every hour or two hours. Yep. After I, every class period. I yeah. Because we're teachers. Yep. <laughs> and so I just, I made sure that I had food because I have to take it with stomach, with food in my stomach. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, mm -hmm. last, that, uh, that last season, when it turns from like, um, winter to spring, I didn't get one. So yeah. I'm, I'm waiting for it to happen this year. So far it's not. So it hasn't gotten cold yet in the so that's right. All right, so we're gonna start with some of our singles that are under $20. The first one we're gonna talk about is Clove. Um, this is a five milliliter, but five milliliter Clove also comes in the Vitality line. Um, for $17.25, that's nine cents per drop. You can also buy in a larger one for 15 milliliters at $15.25 and that's six cents per drop. Um, so Clove Vitality supports the immune system. It's one of the key ingredients in Thieves and is essential for promoting healthy teeth and gums. And um, it can also be used to support the circulatory system and healthy blood flow. You can place a few drops on a wet cloth and place over the forehead and temple to relieve tension or the back of the neck to soothe sore muscles. Another thing I use Clove for, it's an, with another one I make, it's called Magic Water. I take a Hydro Flask when I need like immune support. I put a drop of Clove, a drop of Orange, which is also under $20, and I drink it all day, and that's also what I do to like help turn my off. Awesome. Um, it can help eliminate unpleasant odors when cooking uh, by diffusing. You can add a few drops of Clove Vitality to your favorite dish for an extra boost of flavor. Dilute a drop and rub along your teething toddler's gums to find relief. Um, this one, along with a few others that are not a part of this group, like I do like pumpkin spice lattes. I just have this. Um, but I don't like Starbucks, so I use the oils yep. to mimic that or chai um, to mimic the flavors in chai. And Love so it. yeah. Um, the next one is cedarwood, which again this is a five milliliter. Um, but cedarwood tends to come in a fifteen milliliter, which is eleven fifty, and that's five cents per drop. Um, cedarwood is a natural deodorizer used to freshen the air in your home while creating a calmer and more relaxing environment. It also stimulates the penile gland, which releases melatonin. And I think you can guess what this is good for, sleep. Yes. Um, diffuse yeah. four to six drops at night or add one drop to the bottom of each foot for a more restful night's sleep. Add 20 drops to your shampoo or conditioner bottles for healthier, shinier hair. Add 20 drops to a two ounce spray bottle of water and spray on clothes and skin to keep your outdoor time annoyance free. You can also mix this with lemongrass, clove, and or citronella, which, is all, which are all under $20. Cedarwood's like 10 bucks. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. so cedarwood, I actually, cedarwood and citronella, I worked out this week in my classroom because I had major ants. Mm -hmm. And with ants, usually comes other bugs too. And so the ants immediately disappeared. I never saw other bugs, I just made an assumption and just, did it. So um, I've also used cedarwood because I think um, spiders don't like it. My um, scorpions hate it. My friend Stacy White, who owns her own term, uh, pest exterminating company, mm -hmm. was telling me to use cedarwood, which is funny because she just took business away from herself by telling them. Anyways, that's a side note. <laughs> so then the next one we're going to talk about is lemongrass. Um, lemongrass comes in a 15 milliliter for 11.25, and that's also five drops per ounce, or five cents per drop. And then lemongrass Vitality, which remembers the white label, it's this size. Um, five milliliter is 6.25, that's seven cents per drop. Lemongrass can be used for everything from cleaning, cosmetics, sleep aids, immune boosters, stress relievers, muscle soothers, and more. You can take two to four drops of Vitality daily in a veggie capsule to support healthy digestion and gastrointestinal function. Um, add one to two drops of peppermint vitality for an added boost. You can add one to two drops to tired muscles post-workout or to tired feet after a long, tiring day. You can add one to two drops to your cleanser or moisturizer to help purify the skin, uh, to help cleanse the skin. Science note, 
One drop of essential oil can contain hundreds of different compounds that all serve different purposes. Do a quick search on the term terpene properties of lemongrass essential oil. So you're gonna search terpene properties of lemongrass essential oil and be prepared to be amazed. So in the comments below, I wanna know, do you have a favorite single oil that's under $20? What do you like about it? Okay, so now we're gonna talk about blends. This one's RC. Um, RC comes in a five milliliter for $10.50. That makes it 12 cents per drop. It does come in a 15 milliliter sporadically. Um, I don't know how much that costs. Is, do you guys know off the top of your head? Like how much RC costs? Like, is this a brand new bottle? No. It's like, like 30. The big okay. one is like, okay. Yeah. 30, um, 20, 30 maybe. So you can relax, revitalize, rejuvenate, and refresh so all from one bottle. An affordable blend of 10 essential oils you need in your collection. Apply a drop of RC to your chest and wrist every morning for an energizing, uplifting start to your day. Put a couple drops of RC in the diffuser to clear the air and make your space more comfortable when it's humid or when the room feels stuffy. Keep this one stocked in your wellness cabinet by ordering one a month throughout the year so you have enough on hand for the winter months to keep everyone breathing easily. Yes. Um, so this is an oil. This was one of my gateway oils. So um, after Zephyr, we dealt with her ear infections, which we used the next oil for. Uh, we used RC on Xander when he had croup at nine months along his spine oh. um, with, with frankincense and bees. So, um, I'm a huge believer in RC. All right, the next one we're going to talk about is purification. This one is um, a five, milli five milliliter also. It's $15.75. That's about 19 cents per drop. Um, you can ditch the harsh chemicals, uh, the ha ditch the harsh chemical-based sprays and cleaning products from your home, which in the long run will save you money and make the switch to more natural alternatives. Do you have laundry? I do. <laughs> um, I had a drop to your detergent, yeah, yeah. a couple drops to your wool dryer balls, and use this spray bottle for an air and fabric freshener that is free of nasty mm -hmm. fragrance. Um, we do that. We make a fabric softener of white vinegar and purification. Mm -hmm. Super nice. nice. Uh, um, do you have pets? Um, I have three children because I can't. <laughs> make your own pet spray using a drop of Thieves dish good. soap or cast out soap. About 10 to 15 drops of purification and a half cup of distilled water. Spray daily to keep bugs and outdoor and the odors at bay. Do you have kids? Create all natural odor eaters by placing a couple drops of purification on cotton balls and placing them around the house where needed. Should Gar in my classroom. Yeah, garbage cans, inside mm -hmm. shoes, uh, bottom of the diaper pail, air vents, etc. Um, the next one is Christmas spirit. This is a five milliliter. Also, it's ten fifty. That's twelve cents per drop. With the combination of orange, cinnamon bark, and spruce, it will promote feelings of joy and peace. Mm. It makes me happy. It's worth using all year long. Oh, I love it. Add 10 drops to the filter in your vacuum cleaner or combine with a half cup of baking soda for a carpet refresher to keep your home smelling fresh. Add a couple of drops of Christmas spirit on a cotton ball and place near doorways or on the patio Ooh. to stay annoyance free outdoors. Put a couple of drops of Christmas spirit on your wool dryer balls to carry that Christmas spirit with you. Side note, you absorb everything from your clothes onto your skin and into your bloodstream. By simply replacing conventional detergents and dryer sheets and adding oils into your laundry, you can eliminate harmful chemicals and add health benefiting, health benefiting products for the entire family in just one cycle. All right, in your comments section, Tell me, do you have a favorite oil blend that's under $20? What do you love about it? So, don't worry <laughs> and don't waste a single drop. When you get down to the bottom of the bottle, there not, may not be a visible drop left, but the whole inside is coated with precious oil. How, so how do you get it all out? Those drops are money, and I want to make sure you're getting every penny's worth. So here's a couple pro tips to create less waste. First, remove the orifice reducer, the plastic cap inside the top, and let the last few drops drip out. Show how they show how That's you do what it. I do. This is the orifice reducer. Um, and I just put my fingernail into in between the bottle and the reducer. And then I pull it out. That's what I do too. That's one way to do it. Oh, you have another way? And that's a correct way. But here's another like correct that. way. Oh, I saw this. So I this. take my lid and I just set it on top and I use my lid to pull it up. What? That way. The reason I like this way is that my hands are dirty. 
Well, not dirty, but well, because oil. Your, the oils on your skin yeah. get in the orifice reducer. Like yeah. And then you can just take whatever's left and you can just pour it. Usually, what I have found is by the time I have to take the orifice off, I love that word, mm-hmm. um, there's three drops left. So um, in my head, I always just know that I have an extra three drops in my bottle when I remove the orifice. So another hack is to soak your empty bottles in a jar of Epsom salt. So what I do is I take the orifice off. I put all my empty jars in a bottle, uh, in a large mason jar, the big ones, fill it up with Epsom salt and shake it. Um, then I can use that for an Epsom salt bath. So I, ca- I don't know about you guys, but I categorize mine. So like I'll take all the immune supporting oils and I'll put them into one jar. I'll take all the like happy mood oils and I'll put them all into one Epsom salt jar and then like any like smart sleep, sleeping ones. And uh, I like that. Because I like baths and I also, my kids still take baths. So yeah. I just like toss it in there mm-hmm. and it's good to go. Like the 32 ounce? The big ones like this? Oh, the, oh, yeah. the 64. Yeah, because I have, we, I go through a lot of bottles. Epsom salt. A lot of bottles of oil. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And I feel like usually I do a handful of the mm-hmm. oily Epsom salt to a handful of just plain Epsom salt for my good kids. You know. And I find that that's good. For me, I like to be extra and I just pour it all in. She's totally so extra. extra. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Pro tip three. Uh, add your empty oil bottles to a jar of water, then use that water to fill your diffuser. So instead of using the Epsom salt method, just fill it with water, mm-hmm. shake it, and you can use that in your diffuser mm-hmm. as well. So you can also, again, customize your aromas for your diffuser. Um, save your empty bodies and use to make your own custom roller blends, which I love doing. And I will often, we've actually we've done, done a couple classes, classes where we've we, uh, Instead of buying exactly. empty roller glass bottles from Amazon, you just use your bees yep. and you clean them out. Yep. Um, and then pro tip five, use your empties to fill with a small amount of share, to share an oil sample with a friend. Mm-hmm. So oftentimes, like, I'll go into my empty bottle stash and I'll find, like, thieves mm-hmm. and I'll add, like, 10 to 15 drops of these in there plus a carry oil and I'll just give that to a friend. Mm -hmm. Um, so they already, so it's already labeled. They know what it is. Um, I do tell them it's diluted though, not like uh, Mm -hmm. how they would get it from me. Um, and then pro tip number six, did you know that one cap full of these household cleaner fits almost perfectly in an empty, empty five milliliter bottle? Yep. Fill up that five milliliter with these all purpose cleaner and give it to a friend. Be sure you put the orifice reducer back in to avoid (laughs) leaks. Good idea. I did not know that. Yeah. That is a great idea for Christmas gifts for my Seriously. team. Mm-hmm. All right. So I want to know, what are some other ways you have reused and recycled your empty bottles? This is like a huge topic in mm-hmm. some of the groups that I follow because people like to know. Um, all right. My last slide, we're going to talk about thieves, right? Yep. Yep. Thieves, thieves for, for the, the win. win. Um, cleaning your home can be expensive. When you start adding up the cost of all-purpose cleaner, toilet bowl cleaner, window cleaner, and floor cleaner, you will quickly realize that replacing all of these with just one bottle of these household cleaner will be saving you a whole lot more than money. From just one 14-ounce bottle of these household cleaner, you can get an average of 29 16-ounce spray bottles of all-purpose cleaner. Good to use on everything from windows to floors. So this is the 14 ounce that Kylie's clutching for dear life. Um, so you can get 29 bottles of 16 ounce spray out of this one bottle. Um, so wait, you keep going. I'm going to do okay. math. Uh, so this can replace so much more than just cleaners. You can use it to refill your foaming hand soaps, replace your dishwasher or laundry detergent, degrease the stove, oven, microwave, or grill. Wash your cars, your patio, your outdoor furniture, clean sponges, Mm -hmm. rags, and toothbrushes. Clean all your surfaces, wood, stone, tile, and grout. Wash pet bowls and clean aquariums. Are you getting an idea yet of how much money you can save with just one bottle? How much does this cost? Uh, 22. 22. 22. 22. They say you can get 29 bottles out of it. That's 75 cents a bottle. That's That's cheaper than the dollar store. Dollar cleaners you buy. Yeah, because some of us buy those. I used yep. to buy them. So, so I have a friend who was like, who has transitioned all of her um, products that she used to buy in the store to like chemical free ones. But she was like, I can't give up OxyClean 
like it works amazing and I just haven't found, you know, something that works yet. And so she told me what she did is she took Thieves Household Cleaner and sprayed it onto a white shirt and um, that took, that made it completely white and so she was really excited that she doesn't have to buy OxyClean anymore. I spilled tomato sauce onto a white pillow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like a, my own, a brand new white pillow, like a decorative pillow, you know? And I used straight thieves cleaner. Well, like I looted it with water because it is brown. I didn't want brown on my pillow. Mm. But I it got it out. I was shocked. Mm -hmm. Like, and it like wasn't a big thing. Like it was, I was, I was shocked. I, I use it to, um, I cleaned my oven. Mm -hmm. And I have a before and after picture, and if I remember, I'll post it. But it was like hideous. Mm. And I, in the past, have used all the chemicals, you know, where you kind of like do it when you're not home so the right. house can air out and everything. Um, I did this during nap time when I did in home daycare. And it was, it smelled like heaven. And it was super shiny. Um, I really need to clean this up. I like, need to this house. With I use lemon oil and baking soda. Like, our oven yeah. was black. Like yes. our person, like our house was a rental, was not taken care of. My oven was smoking lemon, which is like $10 yeah. and baking soda and everything is off. It looks beautiful now. Mm -hmm. It's That's crazy. Amazing. Yeah. All right. So um, let's talk about doubling or tripling up. Um, because many of the Young Living products are so concentrated, you are able to get even more for your money by diluting or double or triple the amount you started with. You know, just like we talked about with the Thieves Household Cleaner, you only need a cap full to a huge bottle of like water, spray, spray bottle of water. Um, here are some products that we have found that you can double up on and still get the same great results. Um, so any of the Young Living shampoos and conditioners and shower gels, so three different things, um, you guys, these are so thick. So if you decide not to dilute, you only need a dime size amount. That's all. Um, but you can also separate yours into two bottles um, and then add hot water. This is key. And turn my bottles upside down overnight to let everything mix and then just shake well before each use. Um, and so that's what I did is I emptied this out and half out into another container and then filled it up. Um, and so then I have, you know, a whole nother bottle on hand um, that we get to use next. Um, and then you can also, um, with the Thieves dishwasher powder, I don't have it in front of me, but you can combine it 50-50 with baking soda or super washing soda to double up. Super cool. Um, I know for me, I even just use half a scoop versus a whole scoop. So um, you can figure out what works best for your dishwasher. Um, the Thieves mouthwash, this is um, this is another product that is so My strong favorite. and potent. It's her favorite. Um, but you can mix 50-50 with water and it's just right. <laughs> so um, my six-year-old uses this as well. And so it's, you know, something that we absolutely love to dilute for her um, just to make sure everybody gets, gets some, you know. And everybody then gets some. everybody gets some. Um, and then this is the orange blossom um, face wash. Um, so it's just a pump. But this one will give you more than double. So if you add two tablespoons of this to an eighth ounce foaming soap pump and use one to two pumps daily, you will get four of those eight ounce foamers with just one bottle. Um, a face wash, which could last you probably up to a year. Yes, Jess. So going back to the Thieves mouthwash, um, I actually have a comment on the distilled water. Um, I personally prefer using liquid coconut oil because mm. I feel like the distilled water mixed with the Thieves oil is too spicy for my kids. Oh. Mm. When I'm diluted with coconut mm -hmm. oil, they're coconut pool, they're Oil pulling, mm -hmm. plus using the Thieves mouthwash. Um, but you have to make sure you spit it into the trash. You cannot put coconut oil down your drain. You know, I cook with coconut oil, it goes down my drain. I but, just wipe it a lot. But, oh yeah, exactly. But, you know, like, and then it goes in your trash. We apparently disagree, but which is okay. Do your research. research. Yeah, and you make up your mind. Then report back to us. Put you know what's going on. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but yeah, I like coconut oil. 
I'm better because I feel like it's less hot, even for myself. But water works too, so do your research. You decide what's best for you. Okay, so let's let's do some math on this one. So to keep things simple, we will assume that this one bottle of face wash face <laughs> face wash lasts you a whole year, three to sixty five days. That is only thirty nine seventy five for the entire year. That's roughly eleven cents per day to wash your face with hypoallergenic gentle face wash that leaves behind no clog. Uh, <laughs> behind no poor clogging residue um so definitely if you guys haven't already um i know amazon um sells like you know packs of foaming hand soap pumps or foaming um face pumps um they're empty and then you just fill them with, with great extenders want. it's a good way to like extend your mm -hmm. stuff or if you already have, um, you know, like chemical free products that, you know, like our foaming pump. hand soap little mm -hmm. thingies. And then just use that to reuse it. You don't have to throw it away. You don't have to buy, you know, foaming hand soap pumps on your own. Just use, use what you have already. Um, okay. So go grab the face wash you are currently using, do some math, research the ingredients and see what you are really paying for. Ah. for real. All right. So let's talk about using this for that. Don't you just love it when you buy one pair of shoes and you can wear it with several different outfits? Yes, or I do. Or when you grab a few simple ingredients at the grocery store and use them to make three different meals. Yep. We love versatility and finding new ways to use old things. Not that your products are old things, but you get where I'm going with this, right? I love finding new out of the ordinary ways to use my products. This saves me time and money because if I run out of something, there's a pretty good chance I have something else that I can use in its place. So let's take a look at some products and think outside of the box for other ways we can use them. So toothpaste for deodorant. That's what I do, hello, over here. So you just need a dab under your armpits and you're worry and stink free all day. Mm -hmm. um, you can use the Animal Sense Ointment as hair gel. Um, you're gonna, oh. just gonna take a bit of the ointment, depending on how much hair you have, and then mix your hands with water and thin out before applying to your lock. By the way, the animal sense, I mean, if it's like for like if your dog has a cut or like dry skin or pets, mm -hmm. like if you have pets and you happen to have it, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's like 25 bucks, so it doesn't fit into that 20 buck range we were talking about earlier, but it's mm -hmm. giant. It's, it's literally huge. the size of my coffee mug. And it'll last you years. Yeah. yeah. Years. It's like if you already have it. No, why not? I feel like it's a good alternative to the petroleum-based jelly yeah. that we grew up using. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I've used it for. Yeah. It totally is. Totally. Um, go ahead and use your conditioner as detangler. I already do yes. that. Yeah. Any of the Young Living conditioners um, can double as a detangler. Grab a 24-ounce spray bottle, add two cups of distilled water, and a half cup of conditioner, and just mix it really freaking well. Shake it, shake it, shake, shake it, shake your it. Booty. Um, <laughs> this is what I've done. Um, oftentimes what I do is I'll actually add a couple drops of tea tree to that spray bottle um, so that I'm spraying it onto my kid's hair, you know, as a detangler, but they're getting the benefit of the tea tree oil, which helps them have a happy head. Going, it doesn't have extra pests on it. Yeah. So, you know, going into Which, all these public areas, it's a necessary thing. On a side note, did you know that the CDC no longer qualifies head lice as a communicable disease? So, if your kid, that? so that means, like, back when we were kids in public schools, if you had lice, they sent you home until yep. you showed proof it was treated. They no longer send kids home for that. That's it doesn't awesome. even have to show proof that it's treated. It doesn't ever happen. Ew! So, add a couple drops of tea tree, which is less than $20. You're going to need it. So, then, we'll use the thieves and... Thieves fruit and veggie wash um, as a degreaser. If you find that your soap dish really? needs an extra boost, huh. add a really? capful of the fruit and veggie wash. I mean, it makes sense. I need it that. cleans your cleans your your fruit and veggies. It does make sense. Um, it gets off that oh, um, film the wax from the cucumber. Um, go ahead and use your thieves dishwasher powder as toilet bowl cleaner. Oh, I try that. Oh. That's what, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll so sprinkle that. in the toilet or mix with water to make a paste or a scrub. Done. Yeah. Um, and then your lavender lip balm can also act as um, a primer. primer. And butt cream for babies. Just make sure it's labeled very clearly. Yeah, the same thing. People use it as concealer. It's so cute. Oh my god, I love it. 
Okay, so all you need to do with the lip balm is just like one swipe across the lids before applying your shadow. Um, you can also use lemongrass as a nail polish. Oh. Remover, just add a couple drops on a cloth. Changes everything. And then it saves you dozens of harmful chemicals. Um, and you're not throwing away all these cotton pads. So yeah. Just put it on a cloth. Yeah. Um, and then how awesome would that be to go acetone. into your wash with lemongrass on it? Yeah. And nail polish. Like that acetone, no, you're not smell. Oh, wait, what do yeah. you mean? I would I should. Well, because when you wipe off the nail polish with the lemon oh, grass, the nail polish got all the cloth. Yeah, that's fair point. Separate you so, yep. Yeah. Okay. And then the seedlings wipes can act as dryer sheets. Huh. Ditch those nasty store bought dryer sheets that contain a chemical Ooh, cocktail shown to pollute the environment and disrupt your hormones. Yep. Allegedly, dryer sheets are the most toxic household cleaning product you have. Yeah. That and fabric softener. Those are like the two yeah. worst things. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then I just imagine it's like on your clothes mm -hmm. and then you're wearing yeah. it. Yeah. And, and your then hair and it's on the body. in your closet. Yeah. It, like your skin is, oh. Yeah. yeah. No okay. And then you can use the hand and body lotion as shaving cream. Self-explanatory. So I what other, more. huh? Explain more. Using the hand and body lotion. Uh, are you being the I'm not being dirty. I'm just being no, you're stupid. being so silly. I love it. Okay, so what other? Products? I was confused too. Like, I was yeah, confused. I thought she was like, wait, I don't understand. You put it on your legs and then you shave, but you don't rub it in. No, you would like, rub. <laughs> what other products have you found that you can use this instead of that? Oh my gosh, you guys are ridiculous. I know. Okay, so let's talk about. Um, when you head out to Target, what section do you hit up first? Oh my God. The just... dollar spot. So when you shop at Kohl's, do you look for the big clearance store. stars hanging from the ceiling? <laughs> Even shopping at your favorite store online, I bet you tend to check out the sale or the clearance tabs first. I think it's yep. safe to say that we all like a good deal and we are always looking for ways that we can save money. There's no better way to save with Young Living than becoming a wholesale member. If you want to save hundreds of dollars, get the premium starter kit with essential oils or the Thieves premium starter kit, which includes several products that you can double or triple in quantity. With your No Strings Attached membership, you will get 24% discount on all future orders and special perks through the Essential Rewards program with the ability to share and get your products for free. Um, you will want to reach out to whoever invited you to this class to get their member number because the awesome thing about Young Living is it's all referral based. So how awesome that, you know, like we were sharing earlier, when you're sharing Young Living, um, you know, Young Living wants to send you like a thank you gift for doing that. Um, so make sure you're sharing your member number with people or asking the person who introduced you for their member number. Um, but as far as the premium starter kit goes, um, you would be saving almost 60% on your first order, and the retail value is over $400, and you will get it for only $165. Mm, that's crazy. <laughs> that's a, yeah. <laughs> um, what I like about it, too, is you're basically just paying for the oils, and, like, what, 12 of them, right? Mm -hmm. 13. 13. Yeah. That's amazing. They cover, like, so many different things. And then things. they throw in a diffuser. Yeah. Like, a really like, good quality diffuser. Yeah, like for free, basically, which I think is insane. So once you order, um, your person who introduced you, most likely us, because we're all awesome. us, or if anyone else did, like go to them. <laughs> go to them. Um, we'll introduce you to a community um, of you know thousands of oily, you know, like-minded, fun people like um, on on Facebook and in person. And um, then we're also going to send you a welcome pack with everything you need to get started, including informative reference materials and then some of our, you know, favorite things to go with it. Yes. Um, the premium starter kit includes everything that you see in this picture. Make sure your premium start or make your premium starter kit your very first essential rewards order so you can get $10 in ER points back and a free gift. Uh, I'm going to share more with you about this amazing program next. Um, go ahead in the comments, um, share two products you saw during this class that you would love for yourself. Um, and then your starter kit is just the first step to maximizing your savings with Young Living. 
It is an ongoing journey to provide your body with all that it needs and eliminate all that it doesn't to function optimally so you will be saving more than just money. Continue to save every month on the Essential Rewards program. Requirements to order on ER is to place a minimum 50 PV order each month. Yep, that's it. I recommend 100 PV order for a few reasons. One, you get a free gift when you order 100 PV. Two, you will, get, you will be able to support your health better and faster by committing to ordering 100 PV to swap out harmful products you are already using and trying new, safer products from Young Living. Three, when you have members under you and they are ordering products, you will make commissions off their orders if and only if you order 100 PV. So perks to ordering through ER, save, save, save. One, you will earn ER points for every ER order placed. Your cat, you cash your points in for free products via quick order. Two, free gifts every three months and each year following. Three, free bonus products starting at 100 PV orders, monthly promotions for 100, 190, 250, and 300, sometimes 400, um, announced on the first of every month. You get cheaper shipping and access to free shipping subscriptions like Wild Go and Wild Go Plus. You can change the products in your cart every month, and you can change your shipping date every month. So um, an important note is you only get one ER order a month, so make sure you are planning ahead and putting everything you want in one order to maximize the points you receive back and get the gifts at qualifying levels. So for example, I know next month I need toothpaste, so it's already in my Young Living cart to process in that order for next month. Um, you know, maybe we're running low on the cedar wood because we just are loving it. And so we'll have that in the order already. So I just will throw things in the cart just as I'm yeah. going around my house and noticing things. Like almost that shampoo, gotta put that in. Yeah. And so it's like, I already know it's going to come. I don't have to go to the store. You know, who, <laughs> who loves going to the store with kids? Nobody. No one. Because you oftentimes spend more. It takes twice or three times as long, it's just not a good situation for anybody. So I love just putting everything in my cart and knowing that because I've added those items up, I'm going to get promotions from Young Living because I've hit the 100, 190, 250, or 300 PV yeah. tiers. I remember when I first started living on my own, I went to Target like all the time. Oh my god! I'd be like, oh, I'm out of shampoo oh, I'm out of this, you know what I mean? Because it was so close. Or like buying stuff for my classroom, being a first year teacher is making all my stuff. And I remember even one of the people at the register, she made like kind of like a snooty comment. She's like, oh my God, you're like our number one customer. Like it was so funny. Cause I was there like all the time getting stuff. Oh but then like, since I started doing a living and getting all my stuff, I would buy there pretty much through mm -hmm. and living like all my personal care stuff. I hardly ever go like yeah, maybe I never once every it. couple months now. Mm -hmm. And then like at Target, they just made a joke about me shopping there all the time. <laughs> they didn't give me 25% back for shopping there yeah. all the time. Like, you know, it was, just laughed at you. They yeah, laughed at you. I know. I'm like, okay. Like it was, it was funny, but I was just like, it was just interesting, you know? So, um, yeah. and then the other way to order is through a quick order. So you have no monthly minimums, you have unlimited amount of orders in a month and no points, gifts, or shipping perks. So those of you who are on ER, how many points have you acquired this year? If you're not on ER yet, what products are you excited to put in your ER order? So time is money and I hope you feel it is well spent. Now it's time for you to do some research and decide how you are, are going to get started. If you're not sure where to ask, ask me, Jasmine, Heather, um, whoever invited you some questions and maybe um, we can help you figure out which products will best fit into your budget to get you the most bang for your buck. Um, yes. So I have, I want to go, because I take a little bit longer process. So I want to go back to the essential rewards comment mm -hmm. about like how many points have you redeemed? So last year, I haven't done the calculation this year because this year isn't over, but last year I redeemed over 1,200 uh, points. Oh my god! I think yeah. it's close to fifteen hundred. So like twelve crazy. So I literally got one thousand two hundred dollars in free product from Young Living on top of 
the monthly promotional items that they offered, which those are on average about three hundred dollars if you fully invest. Mm -hmm. So yes. Yeah. So I got about five thousand dollars worth of free product last year, mm -hmm. just Maybe. because I was on a central. Award. I have Every like three hundred that I need to spend right now. That's amazing. Okay, I, start. I think I have a hundred dollars accumulated right now. Yeah. Oh, because you're my account. <laughs> um. So we appreciate you guys being here. You know, like Heather said, you took you know time out of your schedule. I mean, you know, we know busy that, and, and that time is important to you. Mm -hmm. No, you're good. But that time, yeah, like it's so valuable. Um, but we hope that these um, budget tips really um, spoke to you guys and you found um, value in them. Um, let us know which one is your favorite that you're going to like go jump and do right away because, you know, we can get excited about these fun, um, you know, cost saving tips. Dishwashing soaps. Dishwashing oh, the dishwashing I'm soap? I'm going to buy it and try it out. I'm totally not trying yeah. it on the toilet now. I have a ring. Mm -hmm. I can't get rid of it. Yeah, I just pump stuff. I don't want to touch it. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping for that. <laughs> so anyway, um, thank you guys for being here tonight. Um, we will post upcoming classes in um, the comments below just so that you guys can um, join in on um, all the educational stuff that we like to do. Um, what else? Uh, that is one of our hangouts. We do monthly hangouts. Please mm -hmm. come. They're fun. Yeah, we just want to see you face to face yeah. and talk to you and hear your voice Hang and with you. make feed connections you. and feed you and give you free things. To give you free things. <laughs> awesome guys it's oh. <laughs> but seriously <laughs> all right guys have a great day bye, bye.